All right. Hey, folks. Natalie Bell, a.k.a. Peg City Lovely here, and I happen to be driving the Ford Explorer 2015. Just want to show you a few features because, of course, I've already shown you some of the amazing features on the Ford Edge, and these are very similar. But I kind of want to show you. You see the gas right there? That has been for a week. I got it last Friday, I believe it was. And I've had it for an entire week, and I still haven't had to put gas in the car. Pretty awesome, right? I thought so. So one of the things is obviously the screens, consoles. And so you press this little button here, and you see that little thing that goes off and on with the car telling you to stay in your lane. Isn't that awesome? I thought so. Okay, so you could use the buttons left and right to get various menus. As you can see, there's different display modes. You can get your fuel economy, which trip one and two, if you're you know, going on a road trip or something, driver assist, various settings. And then on this side, this is more your phone, your entertainment, uh, your climate, etc. And, oh, and I just changed to AM. <laughs> so you got entertainment, navigation, and phone. And you notice that they all light up in different colors. Isn't that awesome? I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So standard, of course, is your uh, hands-free volume. And, of course, your cruise control, etc. Got all your automatic lights, of course, dimmer. There's even right here, if you notice, there's a tow button. Very cool, of course, to open your trunk. Here is your, your, your windows and, of course, your mirrors. So if you take a little look here at the mirror, you can, I will press a button here to show you. You can turn your mirror in, like so. Oh, look at that. Put it back out. Great for car washes. All right, what else do we have? Like I said, everything else is standard. As you can see, this is a very gorgeous uh, trim here in this Ford Explorer. But I will show you the console, a few things on the console. Of course, there's the home button. Let's not forget the home button. This is where you're gonna see everything you need to see. I'm gonna move my phone a little bit because it's orange case is getting in the way. All right, so here you see I'm connected with my phone. Here's your navigation, top right quadrant, your climate, and then of course your entertainment, which is your radio, Bluetooth audio, CDs, if people even use those anymore, <laughs> USB, etc. And if you notice under climate, you can see you can have seat warmers for both driver and passenger along with air conditioning. Then there's this wonderful thing which works very well for Winnipeg weathers and that's the steering wheel the heated steering wheel I love that I've been using that in the morning with this vehicle okay and then of course it's your regular standard uh, console as it relates to climate and you can choose driver side passenger side both and that's pretty much it one other cool feature of course you got your inside here you got your USB it's nicely tucked away and then of course here we have road conditions check this out so right now the road conditions are great but say I was driving in a blizzard boom did you see that you would put it on that and you would be able to drive better with better traction pretty cool huh I thought so very much so and then of course if you're on any hills steep uh, steep hills you can use that button as well but I'm not right now so I'm not gonna do that all right, so that's that. Now I'm going to take you to the back of the vehicle and show you how to stow the third row. It's cool, believe me. One sec. Okay, so here you see the actual third row of seats and the trunk. And I'm going to press this button here and stow these seats away. Are you ready? Are you ready to be absolutely mesmerized? I am. Here we go. Look at that. Awesome. And just like that, you have your trunk space back and still room for four people. Hold on.